Hello everyone and welcome back friends our today's topic is algebra as you know algebra is one of the very important topic for all kind of competitive exam friends and friends if you are preparing for the central government jobs like railway ssc and upsc cds then friends algebra is going to play a very important role so friends in our today's discussion i am going to use only the short short tricks method only the shortcut methods which will help you to solve the questions quickly in the exam because friends in the exam speed and accuracy matters a lot so friends both together is required so you should be very much accurate and your speed should be very fast because in less amount of time you have to solve more number of questions now friends so you can see in the previous video friends algebra part 5 friends i had taught you if a plus 1 by a is equals to root 3 then friends you can say a cube plus 1 by a cube will be equal to 0 and friends and a to the power 6 will be equal to minus 1. So friends if you will watch part 5 then friends there I have proved it also. So how if it is equal to root 3 then this will be equal to 0 and this will be equal to minus 1. If this you keep in mind friends then problem like this friends if you will see the problem you will feel it is very difficult. See a plus 1 by a whole square is equals to 3 then the value of a to the power 18 plus a to the power 12 plus a to the power 6 plus 1 is friends this problem is really difficult if you see for the first time but friends if you have already watched my videos then this will become very easy for you now friends you see a plus 1 by whole square is equals to 3 so a plus 1 by a will become equal to root 3 will become equal to root 3 okay now Friends, if a plus 1 by a is equal to root 3, then you can say a to the power 6 will be equal to minus 1. Now, put the value of a to the power 6 in the equation for which we have to calculate the value. Okay. Now, so friends, a to the power 18 I can write, a to the power 6 cube. a to the power 12 I can write, a to the power 6 square plus a to the power 6 plus 1. a to the power 6 is minus 1, minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 to the minus 1 plus 1 now friends you see minus 1 and minus 1 square will be plus 1 and this will be minus 1 and this will be plus 1 so all together will become equal to 0 now friends you only tell me how much this problem is difficult if you know this then directly you can put here itself this will be a cube minus 1 cube minus 1 square so this both will equal to 0 then minus 1 plus 1 0 so friends your answer that means option C will be the correct answer. You do not have to spend a lot of time in solving this kind of problems. Okay. Now friends, question number two is an important problem. And friends, whatever problem we are doing as part of algebra, all are the SSC problem. All has been asked in the SSC examination. Now friends, what they are telling x plus 1 by x is not equal to 0. And x cube plus 1 by x cube is equal to 0. Now friends, so I had asked you to keep that in mind. If x plus 1 by x is equal to root 3 then x cube plus 1 by x cube will be equal to 0 and this I have proved also friends in the algebra part 5 that means the previous video okay now friends you see x plus 1 by x if this is this then x plus 1 by x will become root 3 now friends we need to calculate x plus 1 by x to the power 4 that means friends root 3 to the power 4 this root 3 to the power 4 i can also write root 3 square and whole power square root 3 square and whole power square 3 square will be 9 3 square will be what 9 but root 3 square friends you see root 3 square will be what so root 3 into root 3 will be equal to 3 and 3 square will be nothing but 9 so friends option a will be the correct answer for question number two and this is how friends you are going to solve the problem in the exam very easily moving towards the question number three so friend question number three is a very interesting question if x y and z are real numbers so if x y and z are real numbers such that x minus three square plus y minus four square plus z minus five square is equals to zero then we need to calculate the value of x plus y plus z. Now friends you see if this is equals to 0 that means each and every term will be equal to 0. Very simple concept friends. So this problem is very easy friends. You just need to understand. So friends if, if total is equals to 0 that means 
each particular terms is equals to zero and then only friends the total sum will be equal to zero now x minus 3 will be also equal to zero that means the square will be equal to zero y minus 4 square will be also equal to zero and z minus 5 square will be also equal to zero so here it will become x minus 3 is equal to 0 so x will be 3 y will be 4 and z will be 5 okay z will be 5 so friends we got the value of x y and z they are asking so what is the value of x plus y plus z so x 3 y 4 and z 5 so 9 plus 3 12 so friends option d will be the correct answer friends directly you could have solved if x will be 3 this will become 0 if y will be 4 this will become 0 if z will be 5 this will become 0 so 3 plus 4 9 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 5 will be 12 so option d will be the correct answer so friends question number 4 if x minus 5 square plus y minus 2 square plus z minus 9 square is equal to 0 then the value of x plus y minus z will be equal to what then the value of x plus y minus z will be equal to what now friends you see so this whole term that means x minus 5 square plus y minus z square plus z minus 9 square is equal to 0 if this is 0 means friends each and every each and every each and every term is 0 so friends if you want to make this 0 put the value of x is equal to 5 5 minus 5 will become 0 y friends value so here y minus 2 so put the value of y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 9 put the value of z is equal to 9 if you do that friends this complete equation will be equal to 0 they are asking x plus y minus of z so friends 5 plus 2 minus of 9 so 7 minus 9 will be equal to minus 2 and option C will be the correct answer for the question number 4. So friends, this is how you are going to solve the questions of algebra in your central government exams easily. So friends, I hope the questions will be clear to you. Thanks a lot friends for watching the video.